Hello guys, today we're shooting how to be a luxury realtor. In today's episode, it's gonna be about three essential pieces that you must have as a realtor. But we're not just shooting in any closet. We are shooting in the biggest closet in the US. Come check it out. Whoa. All right, guys, we are here today with Teresa Romer, who will, who's led us in this amazing closet, and we're gonna be discussing three essential pieces that a realtor should wear when meeting a client. We'll look at a business professional, a business casual professional, and then maybe just a casual, but remember, we never go out too casual. And then lastly, we're gonna be looking at what you should not wear. <laughs> Teresa, why don't you show us what you've got here for us today? So let's let's start with what you shouldn't wear. Okay. Okay. I like that. You know, everybody's idea of what they should wear is different, but we don't want to look like we're going to a nightclub or a party. Agreed. So this is something you should never wear. I don't care what you put it with, you should never wear this if you're showing a home. And you should probably never wear anything that says, where's the party? Okay? So these are no-nos but maybe some other time for something else, they're okay, but not showing real estate. Then, sometimes the weather's not always perfect. It might be raining, it might be cold, you never know. So, as long as you put a pair of black nice slacks with a nice business jacket, you're gonna look fine. Put it with some boots, put, them with, put it with some high heels, will work all day long. But red speaks power. Love it. You own, this is this is confidence all day long. And when you go to show real estate, you want to not only look the part, but you want to know your product. For sure, agreed. Definitely. But if you don't want to wear that nice, you can always find other types of sweaters. You know, I would even go as far as to put uh, a Balenciaga uh, a sweater with a pair of nice slacks. Oh, I love that. You know, put some black leggings, black slacks with it, boots, high heels, whatever. Perfect a for black, a rainy day. Put a black scarf with it. You're gonna look perfectly fine. But you just don't want to be underdressed. You gotta remember, you're, you're speaking for the company that you're working for. Right. So it's not all about you, it's about the company that you're representing. For sure. You guys heard it from the amazing Teresa Romer. I mean, who would not take her advice? Look at this amazing closet that she has here. known for design and fashion. She just knows exactly what you should wear and not wear. <laughs> this, this is fun. I love and, that you picked this up. You're gonna wear it somewhere, but it's not selling houses. I, I might <laughs> wear this to drop off my kids at school for carpool, that might be interesting. This was actually bought for a costume, so. Was it really? I was <laughs> like, I, I haven't seen I you have, wear this. But I have worn it with a pair of white jeans and hey. some white, uh, Tory Burke sandals in the summertime. Perfect. Cute. Yeah. But you weren't selling real estate. No, I was at a pool party. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, and lastly, we are down here looking at all of these amazing bags, and we want Teresa to show us one bag that we should wear at work and one that we definitely should not. Teresa, what do so. you think? I pretty much feel like if you carry something very subtle, I find that Celine is a name brand purse, but it's not over the top. So I would feel comfortable showing a home carrying this or just carrying a small little clutch, whether it be a Tory Burch or a uh, Louis Vuitton. And if you don't even have a designer bag, that's fine too. But to me, these would be acceptable. Awesome, just something black simple. So, yeah, subtle. Just subtle, just subtle, because you want to be relatable to the clientele. And even if you are showing a multi-million dollar home and the woman has the Hermes, that's okay. She's the one that you should be paying attention to, not the realtor. For sure. So, with that said, this is a bag that I would not be wearing if I was showing property. Got it, awesome. Because even though I can afford it, maybe they can't or maybe she now feels inferior. You, you just never know, you know, women can be women. <laughs> Definitely, agree with that. So I would not carry 
anything more upscale when it came to designer purses. All right, that's a wrap. Teresa, you wanna do our outro? Well guys, we had fun in the world's largest closet, having fun with you today. But remember guys, this is a wrap for the segment here for how to become a luxury real estate agent. So with that said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can get all of our videos. And until next time, bye bye.